this Sunday, August 28th, Nico, Janish, and I are actually hosting a benefit concert at the Church of the Wayfair. It's for, it's for homeless youth. And so, if you don't have anything to do this Sunday, come to the concert. And if you, for more information, ask for a flyer. I have some, so. Also, um, no Q&A meeting today. It's being moved to Monday. Uh, greetings. Uh, we still have a little bit of a bureaucratic snafu with health and fitness, so let me ask you this. How many of you have already signed up and been attending health and fitness now for about a week and a half and or are on a team and have been steadily on that team since the start of school, essentially? Should be most of you. The only fly in the ointment is there's a few of you because, for example, water polo not going and some other things. You need to go online and make sure that you sign up for something, either another sports team and make sure that you can actually are eligible to be on that sports team, in most cases you are. If you're a boy and you want to run cross country, it's open enrollment, shouldn't be a problem. Most of the girls teams, it shouldn't be a problem. Health and fitness, there's a few you might have to check with, but for the most part, sign up and then start attending that health and fitness activity. Because what we're having now is we're having this sort of influx where there's, we don't know where people are at the end of the day and we need to know where everybody is. Everybody should be somewhere. Now, if you're on independent, you should have signed up a long time ago and got your paperwork in. So, if you don't do so by this Friday, if you now switched and you're from water polo and you decide you're going to go into independent, you need to get the paperwork and you need to make sure you sign up for independent and you get that paperwork into the school secretary's hands by Friday. We're going to start checking to see to make sure those forms are in. If you have not gotten it together by next week, Monday, you will no longer have independent activity. You will be put into something else. You, have ab you will have ab abrogated your free choice. So this is an incentive program for everybody to kind of get it together. We want to make this as seamless as possible as we can so the school secretary can be able to answer folks when people are calling in this net. We know where you are. It's, that's one of our school responsibilities. So please do what you can to assist us in that by going online and making sure that you're signed up for what you're supposed to be signed up for and in, you're in that location. By the way, if you are a sporto and your activity is field hockey, your sport is field hockey, you're supposed to be up in field hockey practice. You can't cherry pick and just decide, oh, today I'm a little tired, I'm not going to go to practice today. It doesn't work like that, okay? Love the fact that we're independent, freedom-thinking people. That's wonderful. But, nevertheless, your obligation is to your team to get your butt up to the field for practice. Now, when you get up there, your coaches are going to start taking role. You can let your coach know, today I'm sick or whatever it might be. But you must report first to your coach where you're supposed to be. And then let them be the person who gives you that dispensation to go on to whatever it's going, you're going to be doing. Okay? Are we all clear? Right on. Okay. All right. There is a small handful of students who have still not met their requirement for last year's service. You know who you are because you all got emails to you and your parents before last Friday's dance. Just want to make sure it's clear that that your that your privileges and restrictions thereon still apply. And um, all but two people have spoken to me, so I appreciate everybody else who has communicated. Um, on Moodle, there are lots of opportunities to volunteer all different, in all different categories, education, hunger, etc. But in the top section of the community service um, post on Moodle, there are current events. And here are some events that are coming up that you may be interested in volunteering. Um, they're all great for getting your hours. Uh, some of them may be possibilities for service learning, but it's not looking like it. Here's a few that are on there right now. There's currently a music festival in Carmel Valley that's going on from now through September 4th. They need some volunteers. There's a beach cleanup on this Saturday in Carmel. There's a gleaning where you go and you harvest whatever's left in the fields after the harvesters go through. Um, for Ag Against Hunger, that's on Saturday the 27th. The Jewish Food Festival on Sunday the 28th, and again, that's for hours, not for service, unless you talk to me and have some special plan. And then I'd like you to also check your calendars. At the end of September, the ever-popular Authors and Ideas Festival is coming up in Carmel, and we will be needing some volunteers for that. And the last announcement 
Um, this is kind of an exception to what's the normal for um, community service. We do offer in-house service that will count not to meet your 10-hour minimum requirement, but for above and beyond. And Ms. Mastin, is, our college counselor, is currently looking for some people to help input scholarship information. And she, it's kind of pressing. It affects people getting some scholarships that may be coming up in September. So if you have a free, you're willing to give up, give up an hour or two to, from today or early next week, please see Ms. Mastin right away. Thank you. Photography Club, I need to know how many of you want to come on our field trip on September 3rd. So I'm going to put a sign-up sheet in room 3. Just write your name up there in the next few days so I know how many of you are coming. If you are in 10th, 11th, or 12th grade and are interested in being a member of York Shield, we'll have applications outside at break today and they'll be in the main office and in my office and Ms. Godoyne's office for the next week or so. Uh, they are due Friday, September 2nd. So just for, you, for those of you who don't know, York Shield is an ambassador organization. We work with the community anytime we have admission and advancement events and we want to have tours led or information given to newcomers who are on our campus. York Shield are representatives that know a lot about the school and can help with that. They also work with our host program. And if you're in the eighth or ninth grade, we'll be talking with you soon in your classes about participating as a host starting in October. When we come back from October break, most of you visited last year and had a student who was your host. Now it's your turn to give back and to bring a student around campus. So we'll be talking to you about that. Be thinking if you're interested in participating as host. If you're interested in doing SHIELD, we'll have the applications after break. Thanks so much. event that is happening. Um, some of you may have seen that, that it was also going on last Friday, August 19th, but it's happening as well this coming Friday, August 26th from 6 to 8 p.m. in Carmel Valley, and I can give you more specific information about it if you're interested. But there is a woman named Patricia Qualls who does some very interesting artwork. I don't know how much you can see from there. But she does some very interesting artwork that is specifically in honor of people. Hi there. Uh, specifically in honor of people um, who's, who uh, who process differently, um, who who learn differently, who process differently. Um, and so she's got ones called uh, The Great Divide, um, Dancing with Infinite Possibilities, that's this one over here. The idea that um, just because you maybe um, are somebody who needs a little more time to process something and, and to really lock it in, that you still are dancing with infinite possibilities. Uh, there's some beautiful work that's going on here, and so if you're interested in going to her her opening, which is noon to five on oh, I'm sorry, six to eight on on Friday the 26th to see this artwork, uh, it's a really different way of approaching um, art. So I think I'll stop there. I always have more I want to say. <laughs> This afternoon from 2.50 to 3.30 is your next tutorial. It's an extended tutorial period. I'm going to talk a little bit about the philosophy behind tutorial. It is intentionally a period of time where you are given academic autonomy. That means that you get to choose how you would like to use the time, particularly for those of you in the 8th and ninth grade who do not have the free periods that upper class students have. So it's a time that you might want to sit with a friend who is experiencing the uh, hopeless disappointment of a first crush gone terribly wrong. Uh, it's a time that you might choose to sit with your phone and just play level 20 of Angry Birds. <laughs> but it's not really designed for that. It's designed so that you can go see an English teacher for help with an essay, get with the math department for the tutorial set time they have with uh, student tutors. You can talk with Miss Keast about squid reproduction, if you'd like. 
you can get together with Mr. Borman to talk about the Arab Spring or transitional government in Libya. It's really a time designed to be used for academic purposes, and we encourage uh, the utilization of the time for academic purposes, whether it's support or enrichment. So we look forward to seeing you during tutorial today. Thanks. Just so you know, the environmental science class planted a whole bunch of jade plants on that hill by the lockers. So do not walk on that hill. Do not pull out our plants. Otherwise, we will come after you with iron planting spears and beat you. <laughs> Um, just some quick announcement. First thing is that Pecon Club is going to have its first tournament next Thursday. Um, you're just going to meet around um, the faculty room and stuff to, to play some ping pong. Um, second thing is that the Jewish Food Festival is on Sunday. They need volunteers, so come see me if you want um, Want to get the forms. Um, and you can just send it. I'll tell you who to contact and stuff. Um, and the last thing is that um, if you're interested in tutoring people along Highway 68, come see me because I have the form you can fill out so to see if you're qualified to be a tutor. Thanks. Just come see me. I dream it's all about you, York students. So much you can do, York students. If you can dance or sing or pretty much do anything, then come join Glee Club today. Come and be a star. Well, not today, but tomorrow. That'd be nice. Um, tomorrow at lunch in the music room is our first official Glee meeting. As you see, I do not do a sign-up board at the club uh, board because I realize there's a big gap between people who sign up and people who actually come to the meeting. So if you'd like to learn what exactly is happening and participate, I know from the auditions for Once Upon a Mattress, we have an incredible amount of talented people this year. So please come and join. Love to see you tomorrow. JSA, today, roommate, lunch, pants versus no pants debate. So last year I started collecting donations for the troops in Afghanistan and Iraq. And I'm going to continue doing that this year. Next week I'll put a basket in the main office so you can drop off donations like books or used DVDs or unperishable food. And it's really important. It helps these deployed soldiers feel more at home while they are in Afghanistan. Thank you. Um, I'm Mecca. I'm Hayden. And we're starting the first York Surf Club. Surf so successful yeah. York Surf Club. Um, so if you want to surf, learn how to surf, boogie board, float in the water, build sand some sandcastles. Any of that beach stuff then. Talk to us and sign up to on the club board. We're just going to try to organize beach trips and a few beach cleanups for community service. So join us sign up. <laughs> so, HELP has a meeting in room 10 Friday. Um, we're starting to set up lesson plans and start teaching you what we're going to teach the kids. So it's really important that you're there Friday in room 10. <laughs> 